Beer. It's time for a beer. Okay, today's review uh, is going to be Green Gecko. Now this is the little, one of the little series. Um, I've done a clip where I've introduced all five. There's six in there actually. One's a lager. I had half a mouthful, I'd have to spit it out, it was horrible. This is number two in the series. Now, Hathaway Craft Beer Company was just Lidl's, because they did two. They did Golden Goose and Ruby Rooster. And they were like 99p each for ages. And suddenly they changed it from Hathaway Beers to Craft Beer Company. And they've changed the label. Now, glasses on. Start to have to wear glasses. <laughs> so I can tell you with a blurb. It says it's a th uh, the Green Gecko IPA is a tropical thunderstorm of big flavours, New World hops, cascade, with peppery lemon zest finish. Could be Columba. Doesn't say what type of hops it is. No, doesn't say what type of hops it is. So, we'll give this a crack. We have a pretty clean glass. Start mine slightly aggressive to get a bit of head on it. Hey, there you go, just shy of a pint. It's 500 mil. It's 500 mil. Uh, and there we go, you can see. Now I would call that a good gold amber colour. Um, slightly reddish, more orange, good orange colour, IPO. Oh. Definitely getting some uh, cascade, but not a lot. It's not a, a, not a good whiff of it. But there was the zest. Not a lot of aroma. Not a lot of aroma for an IPA. Oh. It's quite bitter. First thing was bittering. It came through. So. I don't know how old bottles it because everyone knows hot profile goes down and the bittering goes up. Might get slightly stronger. It's definitely got that cascade taste. I'm, so I'm going to guess cascade. It's got that flavour. It's edging on the inside of my gums now, and my tongue, and it's making me salivate. So I'm, it's very quite, it's, it's quite a drinkable drink. Is it the best IPA I have? Nah, it's not got the flavour. The aroma is not powerful. Pitcher is quite strong. Do get some of the malts. 
and then there's that strong bittery taste to the end. It's actually on the finish. I would say it's quite a medium dry on the finish as well. You pick out the hints of zestiness, but it's it's very faint. There's a tingling on the tongue. Good carbonation, but the tingling is actually from the flavour. And then there's that bitter afternoon, so the real hot, the amount of hot. I would suggest that this is actually uh, quite old, even though I only got it today. So it hasn't got a drink by date. What is it? Can't see one. So it depends when it's obviously bottled because with an IPA, the longer it stirs, the, 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 the hot profile dies and the bittering explodes. And this is quite bitter. So I'm suggesting this isn't a very fresh one. Or, you know, if anyone's trying Green Gecko from Liddles, from Haverwood, um, let me know because I don't, I think this might be a bit of an old stock. But it's got a hot flavour in it, but not the notes. You can taste the hops, but not the notes. You don't get that. When we did the Spring Smash Off a few years back, I <laughs> know. Oh, um, the profile of the hops, you could pick out the individual hops flavours, and they really came through. This is just all bittering. This is bitterness and hoppiness, but without the aroma or the essence of hops. And I'm wondering if they use hop oil instead of proper hops. They use a hop extract or hop oil. Could be. Is it drinkable? Yes. Is it worth 99p? Yeah. So you pay the equivalent of some of the IPAs you get from the main supermarkets, like you know, the main ones, uh, Badger, or the other breweries that sell their bottled beer in the supermarkets, and they're about two, two pound fifty for a pound. It's drinkable, it's been a warm day. Yeah. So, anyhow, if it's a fresher bottle, I expect it would have a bit more profile, but there we go. Um, so that's the Green Gecko from Haverwood Craft Beer Company. It's funny how they change the labels and everything goes up. Um, and it's available at Lidl's. So, session beer, bit of a dishwater. Jonah would like this. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, I've got another four there which I'll be doing reviews on. And uh, we'll carry the whole series. Why not? So thank you very much and uh, see you next time.